Unfortunately, this category of transport in Russia is not in great demand. Perhaps the birth rate is lame? Nevertheless, every more or less large family thinks about buying a van. So, can the Ford Galaxy live up to expectations? It looks like yes. Ford Galaxy First Generation it was produced in 1995 to 2006. The first Galaxy was created in parallel with the VW Chiron and Seat Alhambra with the help of the Volkswagen concern. Over time, Ford has personalized his car. Of the engines at the beginning, gasoline were presented, with a volume of 2.3 and 2.8 liters, from 116 to 204 horsepower, as well as turbo diesels with a volume of 1.9 liters. For a conventional turbocharger, 90 horsepower, and with a variable geometry turbine, already 115 horsepower. Ford Galaxy 2 generation 2010 to 2015. With restyling, the Galaxy received several new engines and upgrades to the old ones, and the robot finally replaced the Eisen machine gun. Instead of an analog instrument panel, they began to install a modern, tidy, with a large color display. Ford Galaxy 3rd generation. Produced since 2015, not officially represented in Russia. The current generation minivan has been on sale since 2015, it is assembled at a factory in Valencia. Whether the car will appear with us is unknown. In 2014, Ford was unable to sell thousands of cars, second generation. Fla Galaxy is now equipped with EcoBoost petrol engines of 1.5 liters, 160 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 240 horsepower, as well as 2.0 liter turbo diesels from 120 to 210 horsepower. Drive forward or full. It's worth mentioning. All the circumstances listed below, in addition to Galaxy, equally apply to his brother S-Max. The cars, with the exception of the nuances of suspension settings and interior capacity, are virtually identical and were brought to the market at the same time. And this happened in 2006. Ford got rid of VW's tutelage and created the next generation of the minivan on its own. And, admittedly, he succeeded. The car turned out to be quite successful not only in terms of handling and comfort, but also in terms of reliability. However, we are not without flaws. Galaxy had a lot of motors at different times, before and after restyling in 2010. Gasoline units with a volume of 1.6 to 2.5 liters, from 145 to 240 horsepower, and diesel units from 100 to 200 horsepower. Moreover, the authorship of the motors is international, Ford, PSA, Volvo. We had a particularly running petrol 2.0 liter aspirated Duratechi, MI5. The engine developed jointly with Mazda is considered reliable. Its reputation in early versions was only partially spoiled by the oil burner. Later the problem disappeared. And in general, between us, there are few diesel cars on the secondary market. Diesels are reliable if you don't neglect gas stations. Their weak point is fuel equipment and a turbine, costs up to 600 US dollars. If the car you like has traveled 100,000 kilometers, this is a serious reason to contact a diesel specialist for diagnostics. In general, for these engines, you need to be prepared for premature replacements of the particulate filter. Problems may arise with the EGR valve and high pressure fuel pump. Surely the injectors will remind of themselves. The choice of transmissions is hardly inferior to motors. These are 5 and 6 speed manual transmissions, a 6 speed Eisen automatic transmission and a power shift dual clutch robot, which eventually forced automatic transmissions out of the market. It's a pity. We would not recommend a car with a robot for purchase. A prosperous power shift resource does not exceed 100 to 150,000 kilometers, although driving characteristics are sometimes impressive. Turning to the body, it is worth recognizing that he copes well with the red disease. This, however, for the most part concerns the metal, while the paintwork does not shine with special strength. In addition, there are complaints about the anti-corrosion treatment of the bottom. In general, everything is also good in terms of electrics. Questions about electronics are rare. However, some complain about the insulation of the wires collapsing in the cold, from which the wiring suffers. This is arguably the most common problem with used Galaxy handsets today. For example, suddenly the fan control system fails. As a result, the engine overheats and the air conditioner fails. But the quality of the interior finishing materials and its sound insulation van resembles a state employee. This is what some owners say about their cars. 
the front console trim plastic loses its appearance after five years, although the seats resist time more successfully. It is believed that the suspension has no weak points both in terms of reliability and comfort. For example, stabilizer struts can withstand up to 80,000 kilometers, and bushings, up to 100,000. However, the car is heavy, and over time, this is primarily manifested by wear on the tie rod ends. The rest of the problems can be considered regulatory. So in the end we can admit that the Galaxy Slash S Max, despite a number of specific quirks, is a very good choice for its class. The car is devoid of fatal flaws, it is characterized by excellent handling and suspension comfort. And another plus is the relatively inexpensive spare parts. Engine. When choosing a used car, pay attention to the condition of the dual mass flywheel. Its malfunction is manifested by vibration of the gearshift lever at idle. Petrol engines are afraid of oil starvation. Their timing chains, with the exception of the 1.6 EcoBoost, here is the belt, run 250,000 km, belt change after 80,000 km. Transmission. Automatic and the mechanics are quite reliable and do not require close attention, except for changing the oil every 80,000 km. The clutch with the manual gearbox runs up to 150,000 km. However, experts do not recommend squeezing the full maximum out of the clutch. This can cause wear and subsequent replacement of the dual mass flywheel. Suspension. Shock absorbers, thrust bearings, and ball bearings run 100 to 120,000 km. Silent blocks, hub bearings, and CB joints can last all 150,000. The rear suspension will have to be repaired every 100,000 km due to the complexity, repairs can seem expensive. Adjusting the alignment of the rear wheels every 20,000 km is a must. Body The metal of the body holds the impact of corrosion well, but it also has weak points. According to reviews, corrosion most often appears on thresholds, on the edges of doors and under rubber seals. Suffering from the red exhaust system Often on forums on the internet you can find complaints about the weak and ineffective anti-corrosion coating on the bottom of the car. Electrician. Over time, various failures can occur in the electrical system, until the ignition of the main control module. However, this is rare, but such failures as malfunctions in the operation of the climate system control unit, failure of the windshield heating or failure of the air conditioning compressor are quite normal. Everything must be checked before buying.